Thank you, Howard. Listen, we are happy to introduce you to our Women in Leadership honoree for the month of May. It's Denise Gomez Santos. She is the Executive Director of the Erie One BOCES Regional Bilingual Education Resource Network. Welcome, Denise, and congratulations. Thank you very much. You said you were shocked by this, right? I was. <laughs> you didn't see this coming. I did not see it coming. You know, until I read your information, I was, I was amazed. BOCES offers a wide range, of course, you probably know this, of career programs for adults and more than 25 programs to high school students. But you help students who do not speak English as a first language. Exactly. That's our daily work. It is a, it's a state-funded contract with the New York State Education Department that is provided to Erie One BOCES to support students who are learning English as a new language. That's amazing. That's amazing that you can run those programs um, for, for kids coming in who speak different languages. And how many different languages can you address? This is amazing. Well, we have 87 languages oh. other than English. Wow. Spoken by our students in 100 school districts in our Western New York service region. Amazing. So not only are they learning skills, they're learning English. They're learning English, and the primary purpose for learning English is that it's the key to all, all their academic mm -hmm. uh, requirements. And for them to be able to graduate from high school with a diploma, they're going to need English. But we don't discount first language because the brain has enough space for two languages. Oh, yeah. And you actually have a metacognitive advantage when you have one, more than one language. I am so envious of people who can, who can speak two languages. I mean, I, I just think that's awesome that, that, that your brain can switch off like that. It can. It can. But our biggest job is to ensure that students really graduate from high school. And that is the, the main reason why the state of New York is interested in this work. And Erie One BOCES has a more than 30 year wow. experience in bilingual education to the Western New York community. And, and, and while that's, that's terrific, you also understand and help them capitalize on their strengths in terms of their native language and heritage. We're not forgetting that. We're not forgetting that. Um, children who are literate in their first language actually have a stronger ability to learn the second language more quickly, in this case, English. Children who don't read and write their first language, that's where it becomes a little harder, and that's why these programs are important, mm -hmm. because we have to ensure that all children get to the finish line. Didis, this sounds like it's so gratifying for you. It is. When you can help a child. It and, is. And, and really get them the services that they need so that they can uh, succeed. Yes. yes, but I don't do it alone. We I have a nice don't. staff of, we have six full-time staff members, three part-time staff members, and we work very hard to ensure that all of our school districts have the support they need to make a difference in our newest citizens, the then, lives of our newest citizens. I want everybody to know then, if you're considering BOCES for your child and English is not your first language, do not let that stop you because you're going to meet someone like <laughs> Denise Gomez Santos or her incredible staff to, to help that child. Yeah. That's yep. fantastic. We're very privileged to do this work every day and we have a very supportive um, uh, superintendent and who really, um, the entire BOCES organization has had this commitment to ensuring that our children learn English and, all, and also maintain their first language right. for more than 30 years. BOCES is such an awesome program. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember there were kids who were going to BOCES when I was in high school. Yes. And they came out with tremendous skills. Yes, but the kids don't actually come to us. Mm -hmm. They actually are in their own school districts and mm -hmm. our core work is technical assistance and professional development so that we wow. can ensure that teachers and administrators have the tools they need to do the job. Denise, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey everybody, you do too. Thanks so much for watching and we'll be back again tomorrow with more AM Buffalo. Enjoy your day.